When I was a young child, I was sexually abused. Um, and I had very little friends to help me go through that. From my depression and everything, a lot of anger towards my family um, evolved because I did not know how to deal with my emotions and so I would lash out on my family for just trying to help. I didn't talk to anybody. I'd come home and I'd sleep the whole day. So my grades started to drop. I was alone is the best word I could describe it. I started cutting myself. I became suicidal. Through that time, I prayed for her. I really think that it was God that changed her life. Without him, she wouldn't have got through it. I just had people coming to me constantly, telling me how much they loved me. And slowly, I came back to a point where I thought, well, yeah, I'm worth something to these people, and I'm worth something to God. Forms are sort of a traditional dance. They take different Taekwondo techniques and put them in a routine that you gain more and more difficult ones as you go through the ranks. It's not as easy as it looks. Even if your eyes are out of place, they take off points. And with board breaking, it's whoever has the hardest techniques and who takes the least amount of times to break them wins. Sophomore year, they found that I had an abnormal heart wave, and because of that, I had to stop my Taekwondo fighting and all contact sports. So that was a pretty big blow. Now in Taekwondo, I do forms, I do board breaking. I can't fight anymore though. The last three years, I've noticed her really like, grow and, and socially and academically. She's a very hard worker. She always followed through with her assignments. When she did have trouble, she knew where to come and ask for help. Her confidence has grown. Now when she's out there demonstrating her skills and she's showing leadership qualities. You can't avoid hurt at all for forever, but when you lead a pure life, there's a much less chance of it. I've learned to be thankful for life in general. When you reach the very rock bottom, you learn to appreciate the highs. And once you embrace life and live it to its fullest, you really learn to appreciate it because it's such a beautiful thing. My advice to others would be to not give up. Life gets hard. Life gets so much better when you are in the pits and you just take off running until you find the high. Because you get it to the top of that mountain and you just go, wow. I never knew how beautiful it was until I got to this people. Subscribe to our channel, The Real Winning Edge, now on YouTube. You can see more inspirational videos like this.